Hello guys and welcome back to another Red Dead Redemption 1 modding tutorial. Uh, today's video we will be installing Reality Redemption. Um, before we do get into this video, if you don't know already how to install Red Dead Redemption 1 on Xenia, I've made a video so make sure to check that out first. Anyway, um, if this video does help you out, I'd really appreciate if you could like and subscribe. Anyway, let's get right into this video. Right, the first thing I want to go ahead and download is WinRAR if you already don't have it. Um, so go ahead and go into the link in the description um, and it'll take you, the first link should be RARLAB, it'll take you here. Go ahead and choose your language. So mine's English, then choose a bit of your PC, so mine's 64 bit. Go ahead and download that, click on it, click yes. Then go ahead and click install, then click OK, then click done, OK. Once you've done that, you can close that. Then the next link is going to be the actual mod, Reality Redemption. Uh, so uh, link in description, once you get to this page, go ahead and scroll down a bit. And uh, you should see the releases here, OK. So since we are using Xenia, um, the only versions available for us will be the Xbox 360 versions. So the latest version for uh, Reality Redemption on Xenia will be the Better 2.1. But on Switch, uh, emulators such as Yuzu support um, more recent versions such as Better 2.5. But since we're on Xenia, we're going to have to select the Better 2.1 or the most recent version for the Xbox 360. So go ahead and click on the latest one. It'll take you to media, uh, mega.nz. Go ahead and download it. Once it's downloaded, go ahead and save it somewhere. It should download as a 7-zip. It's completely up to you if you want to um, extract it as a 7-zip, but I'm still going to use WinRAR. So if you're also using WinRAR, just follow these steps. Go ahead and drag the Reality Redemption 7-zip file onto your desktop or somewhere. And go ahead and close that. Go ahead and click on that, right click, and then you should see WinRAR since we've just installed it. Then extract it, and then it should come up as a folder now. Go ahead and delete the shortcut there. Okay guys, so once you've extracted it with WinRAR or 7-zip, it's completely up to you. It should come up as a folder now. Go ahead and delete the shortcut if you want to. Now go ahead and open that Reality Redemption folder. Once you've opened it, go ahead and open it once again. There should be a new folder in there called Reality Redemption. Now you should see a few files in here. Go ahead and find your Xenia directory. So I've put it all in one folder. So as you can see, I've put it all in here. Go ahead, once you're here, go ahead and find where the Red Dead Redemption 1 ISO is located. So for me, it's in the Red Dead Redemption 1 folder. If you if you don't actually have an ISO, I'll link one that I use in the comments and you can go ahead and download it from there. It is basically the main disk file to make the game actually work and it's the main game. Anyway, once you've located it, go ahead and go into the same directory as it is in and go ahead and select every file inside of the Reality Redemption folder, but then go ahead and hold down left control and deselect the readme and just select everything else we won't be needing the readme once you've done that go ahead and drag and drop them into the same directory where the iso file is located so go ahead and drop it in there then you can go ahead and refresh once that's all in there you can close that now and i'll go ahead and open up these two files here um, and if it comes up with Windows Protect your PC, just click more info and then run anyway because it don't worry this this is not a dangerous in any way, it works fine. So just click run anyway. Okay. Once you've done that, go ahead and go to the install.bat file. Go ahead and open that as well. Now it'll you should also say this, just click more info and run anyway. Now it's gonna go ahead up and open in CMD. Uh, it should say press any key to continue, so just press any key. Once you've done that, it should ask for the ISO, uh, ISO file name, so ours is this one. Something you can do to do this quicker is press tab, and for example, it'll find a file, so just keep clicking tab on your keyboard until you find the ISO file. So, right, as you can see, I've clicked tab a few times, and it's found my Red Dead Redemption uh, disk file ISO. Once it's found it, just uh, just go ahead and click enter. Now it's going to go ahead and download uh, Reality Redemption, extract everything into the uh, actual game files, okay? 
So just let it do its thing. It shouldn't take too long. So once it's done, just click continue. Uh, so any key, um, go ahead and refresh where your Red Dead Redemption 1 is located. Now once you've done that, it has now been installed and you should see this is a new ISO file. So from now on, every time you want to use Reality Redemption, you have to launch it through um, this new ISO, okay? So it should be called rdl1-rr-beta2.iso, okay? So now instead of launching it through the disk file that we usually launch it through, it's made a new one for us. Go ahead and launch it through that, okay? So, to go ahead and launch the game, go back to your Xenia, find your Xenia Canary application, go ahead and open it like usual, then go ahead and click on file, click on open, and then uh, if you can't find it, just go ahead and find where you've located, um, where your Red Dead Redemption um, ISO is located, and um, you should be able to find the rdr1-rr-better2.iso. Now go ahead and click on it, and click open, and it should open with reality redemption as you can see the game should load in like normal uh, so I'll be back once we are in the game okay guys so once you get into the game you should see already by the look of the game that uh, reality redemption is on uh, um, and also just to make sure that it's on you can also go to your map you can also go to the map and if you zoom out you'll be able to see at the top left here reality redemption and it'll show you here okay but as you can see the game looks amazing um and i've had a lot of fun playing through the story with this graphic mods it's amazing um but this is the end of the tutorial guys if it did help you out i'd really appreciate if you could like and subscribe as it helps me out as a small content creator uh anyway thank you for watching and goodbye